Hello guys, uh, welcome again to my Dragon Quest 11 series, it was all using So, I'm sorry guys, I haven't uploaded for a few days because my face is not so problem and it takes me on to finish the episode of the So, uh, I hope you all do enjoy this. Thank you. Thank you so much for supporting this. Um, let, let's finish this game. And so we can move into another. Okay. So drop us, drop a like, please. And enjoy the game, guys. Thank you. Caught me! Take it this is a case of gold fever. It's horrible. Eric, honey, are you okay? Tell me where it hurts. Eric? Huh? I heard a commotion and came running. I never thought that I would find you here. Do you know our friend, Father? He's an old pal of ours, but we lost him after the fall. And I fear he's taken a blow to the head somewhere along the way. He doesn't remember a thing about his life before then. Oh, my poor child. Perhaps I can help to jog your friend's memory. Come to the church by the city gates, and I will tell you what I know of his past. Ah, there you are. I am glad to see you safe and well, Eric. It has been five long years since last we met. I was here five years ago? Did I used to live here or something? Not quite. The Viking raiders, who once roamed the northern seas, would often stop here to buy supplies, or to drink away their ill-gotten gains at the inn. And when they came, Eric, you came with them. Uh, I'm a Viking? <sighs> so that is why the men I sent to scour Heliodor for details of your origin would always return empty-handed. You were born here, a Viking. Not born one. Eric and his younger sister were orphans. The Vikings found them, took them in, and raised them as their own. Whether that was for good or bad, I really couldn't say. By all accounts, they treated the poor children like slaves. Then, one day, we heard rumors that Eric's sister had passed away. And though the Vikings returned, Eric never did. Stop. It has always saddened me that I was not able to help those poor children more. Perhaps if I can help you to recover Eric's memories, it might... I said stop! I need to be alone for a while. Uh, forgive me. It was tactless of me to reveal so much so soon. Please, go to your friend. I will join you when he has had a chance to settle down. Thank you. 
Huh? Hey. I'm sorry I ran off like that. Is that... Wait. That ship, if the townspeople's shouts are anything to go by, it is not a welcome sight. I will take care of Eric. Please, you must hurry to the harbor. <laughs> Into your pockets, sniveling Sniffelheimers. It's time to pay tribute to the great and glorious Kildegoth. All your gold belongs to us. Come on, you cluttering curs, let's get to work. Grab the golden statues and load them into the longboat. <laughs> Get the statue back to the ship. You don't want to keep Gildiga waiting. The monsters are making away with the people who were turned to gold. Could the fever be their doing? What are you looking at? Mess with us, and you'll have to answer to the great and glorious Gildiga, shining star of the Spectral Sentinels. Cease your boastful blustering, fiend. You dare disturb the peace of this fair nation? Then it is you who shall answer to us! <laughs> you think you can stop us, feeble flesh bags? You're not even worth stealing! The boss only likes two kinds of humans. Gold ones and dead ones. Let's bury them, boys! <laughs>
Guys. <gasps> Their companions are fleeing. After them. <laughs> Over there. <laughs> Eric! They've got Eric! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! How? Why? Never mind why. They must be stopped. Quickly. <laughs> oh, we were too slow. Oh, Eric. We are getting that boy back, and we are doing it right now. Where's that priest? He'll know where they've taken him. Uh, uh. Hmm. 